Hi, this is a series. The first part I will link into the description box. Have fun. The lid of the table must be screwed together with two beams. Therefore, I'm marking the drilling spots for the screws. I'm also keeping the same distance so that I have a symmetrical picture of the screws. Afterwards, I sander punch the holes and drill them with the table drill. Lastly, I counter-strike the holes. Now the bores just need to be screwed together with the beams. Don't forget about keeping a gap between the boards. I'm still using the two euro coins to achieve this. Additionally, I left a little bit space at the end so that I have a better grip to open up the lid. Now the last workpiece can be connected with the hinge. I have to cut the beams in an angle so that they don't get caught on the table when opening the lid. I could have done that earlier but I forgot to do so. Now I will mount the bottom shelf. For that I constantly pre-drilled all the holes and partially had to also use pocket holes. corners of every workpiece that one could come in contact when sitting. By the way, I always drill holes and counter strike them. When mounting to the table, ensure that the top of the board ends with the top of the lid. Some pieces have to be customized because later a long board will be mounted to the bench across the front. I will finish the covering of the table later as I still have to screw the seats onto it. Now I will cover the two armrests. I'm pre-drilling these holes to screw the armrest to the seat later. The short touching of the board with the drill will mark the drill position for the holes. Okay, now for the backrest, we have to have some kind of a cover. 
And I'm just gonna take a board and put it down and align it as good as possible. But as you can see, it still has a, a gap down here. So we have to cut this so even. And how you do that, you just take, you just measure how big the gap is. In my case, it's 1.6 centimeters. And then you just have to draw it, draw the line and saw it and then you're done. Okay, now we have these slates sticking out behind the rest, the backrest. And I want to screw a lid on this, so they're in my way. So I'm going to saw them off, mark them, and then I'm going to saw them off. But I'm going to do that by hand, because uh, if I wanted to do it with my sawing machine, I would have to screw everything apart. I don't want to do that. My kids had fun helping me as well. The next thing I want to do is something for the table. The table is actually done, but in the table when you open it up I want to have something where I can put a shelf where I can put things like a cell phone, keys, cigarettes. By the way I don't smoke, friends of mine do though and other things kids need. And for that I have uh, some rest piece, this is a board and what I will do is put other boards around it and then you have something like a box. Now, there's something else I want also, is a little trash can. And to reach the trash can, you, I will drill a hole in here, four by four centimeters, no, not four by four, 10 by 10 centimeters. And then you can throw things like, um, I don't know, lids of bottles and trash and whatever you come up with into the trash can underneath. I will cut out this square. I'm also milling the cutting area. With that, I will compensate bumps created by the jigsaw. Okay, I use these three holes to mount the box onto the table. So it will be screwed to the box like this and then I have these three holes to screw it onto the table. I must unscrew the one side so that I can reach the screws with my power drill.
I'm using double-sided tape, which supposedly holds 100 kilograms per meter. I hopefully it glues together correctly and it holds up what it's promising. So I have another rest piece here, I'm just going to use this as a stop for my cooling box and the table. My daughter is filming. Hi Marie! Okay, one feature is missing for this bench. I bought myself a couple of these bottle openers. And I want to screw them on the chair. I got some rest pieces of wood. What am I gonna do is gonna screw it on here, saw it a little bit together so it fits nicely. Then this will come here to the side, you can take your bottle, comfortably open it, and don't even have to stand up or do anything. That's the next feature coming up, the last one. Last but not least. Okay, just like I said, I will cut around the opener so, you know, it fits better and looks nicer. And it's important to know that you have powers working when you open up the bottle. So it's pulling and it's pushing. I think it's pulling more than pushing, but I don't know really. No, it, it's definitely pushing, pulling more. Anyways, what I'm gonna do to catch those powers and put them into the armrest, I'm gonna cut myself some triangles, two pieces. I hope that will work. The bottle opener goes onto this board. But I noticed after building everything together that a neodymium magnet would be very helpful. Therefore, I built another one which is just a little bit longer. Here are three holes and I'm gonna screw on this triangle and for the upper hole which goes through here, I'm going to use a shorter screw. Okay, this one is shorter than this one. And I'm going to do that so it doesn't stick out, out of here. By the way, very important is that this is one surface. So that's why I put it on my table and screwed it together. because. You also want to have it as one surface onto your armrest. Okay, we're at the end of the video and at the end of the project, the bench is finally done and I must say I really had a lot of fun building it. I have to admit it's the first time for me that I built a furniture for the outside. I learned a lot doing this and it was 
great experience. It was a great experience and I definitely will do another project or more projects for the outside because I just love doing it and it's just great to be outside as well. Jarapa, the wood, is awesome. I really, really like it. I am falling in love with it. I'm even thinking about even oiling it so I can keep the structure and the way it looks. And, but we'll see. And I also hope you had fun watching the video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, leave a comment, whatever you would like. I hope you'll build it as well. Have fun doing so. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you.